Yo. Why? Why? Wow. Wow. Look at these guys. Look at the quality of this. It is crazy how detailed and how smooth are they. Look at this. I mean you have imperfections but I think for 3D printing at home it looks amazing. Hello guys, how are you today? This is Hamoudi from Bilo Media and I want to try these toroidal, toroidal propellers from MIT and I saw striking FPV made, he made a design for these and I took uh, his design and printed out and what better drawn to put on then my brand new fpv dji avatar this is actually the second one the first one i uh, crashed and sent to repair and dhl lost the drone and they sent me a new one thank you dji thank you very much the print as you can see looks really amazing i mean I didn't expect this kind of detail from uh, home 3D printing and I'm a beginner. I have uh, the printer for a week or so and uh, it, it looks amazing. You have to do a little bit of cleaning as you can see, but it's not a big deal. I think it looks really amazing. So I already did this for you and these are the new propellers that I already cleaned which looks amazing. Look, one problem that I had with these is you see this hole is small, it's too small and I got a Dremel and uh, made the hole a little bit bigger so they can fit on the motor and i am really excited to see how those will go it's a little bit uh, flexible but they seem very durable and i think they will uh, uh, be just fine so let's unbox the avata and install the propellers and here is the avata again i missed her It's a little bit big, guys. Oh, shit. They are not very big, but because of the shape, I guess they don't fit here because this part is really thick. And here, as you can see, this part is smaller than the other one. So this is why it doesn't fit. Okay, I printed them again, slightly smaller. I actually printed the 2.5 uh, inch uh, uh, version and uh, scale it a little bit uh, bigger. I hope it uh, it works now. It is a little bit smaller. I got my Dremel tool to make the hole in the middle a little bit bigger. Yeah, perfect. So it fits. Okay, so I finished uh, cleaning them. It was a little bit messy. I don't know why this time uh, they were uh, dirtier. They came out uh, pretty nice. Look. But the holes are almost touching. So this is how it looks like. It's funny. I don't know if it will work. It looks nice, but I don't know exactly if the propellers are 100% horizontal I mean if they sit good or not I'm not sure about this uh, yeah I'm really excited guys to see how it, uh, it turn on come on let's go come on come on So what is happening 
it wants to rise but the propellers are expanding and are hitting the prop guards as you can see here I printed a bunch of uh, toroidal propellers the holes are really small and uh, does don't fit uh, on the avata i tried to modify to make the holes a little bit uh, bigger but i had only problems and it didn't work so i printed these guys they are bigger a lot bigger as you can see <laughs> and they are for the FPV, they are 5 inch uh, props they came out pretty nice uh, they are not perfect but I guess uh, they are nice look at this, the quality is really good so I need to clean them a little bit and mount them on this guy and see if it flies and ha how it flies i hope i will not crash because the fpv is really bad at crashing i mean i will not recover this drone i have to send it back to dji this is why i wanted to mount them on uh, the avata because it has prop guards and it's really uh, durable this drone but i couldn't do this and I really want to try those out. I uh, had different drone as well. I crashed it as well and this is what, uh, what I recovered. I have to build, the, build it again. I have the uh, motor, motors and frame but I have to build it. So let me clean those uh, up and uh, try them out. I'm really excited. They are somehow flexible a little bit and they are really thin. This is the version 2. He had version 1 first. So I finished guys uh, to mount them. They definitely look very cool. Look, it's really nice looking uh, drone and they seem like very big but uh, they are very fragile and thin look how they bend i don't know maybe it's a good thing i have no idea the those two bend if you can see they bend too i have no idea maybe this is how uh, it should uh, be but uh, those feel very very fragile and i am not sure how it uh, it will fly with this to be honest, it feels like suicide mission and uh, I hope I will not crash and destroy my drone. Let's uh, get outside and see how this bad boy uh, flies, if it flies at all, I hope. So let's go. I couldn't help myself guys and I tried it in my studio in manual mode and it flew. It's good thing that it worked, but it got directly into the ceiling. I didn't film this, unfortunately. And this is what happened. Yeah. So, goodbye DJI FPV. I have to send it to repair but i am not sure why it happened I, I don't understand why why it got into the ceiling i mean i was on the throttle a little bit and it got directly into the ceiling maybe it didn't sense something I am not sure, I mean, normally it doesn't suppose to do this and uh, it didn't turn off, I had to get the battery out uh, manually to turn it off and yeah, so this is my first experience guys, it took me three days and uh, a lot of uh, props as you can see, damaged drone 
completely damaged and at least I have my Avata I uh, <laughs> maybe it's a good thing that it didn't work on the Avata maybe it I have uh, it have been uh, ruined as well I have to do uh, a true FPV one the Foxeer maybe I have to build it these days so I can test this out I, I, I still want to test this out guys because I think it's it's great but uh, yeah why why yeah thank you very much guys see you next time bye